Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike again, and I'm back with another Mobox graphic tutorial. This time I'm just gonna show you this is something uh, really easy, but basically it's how to kind of um, key out um, a green background. Let's say you have a green green screen, um, you're, trying to, you're trying to add a background to, or you have an object that you wanna put into a, a composition and it's got a green screen that you wanna remove. So um, this is really easy, but I just wanted to kind of showcase this because it was something I didn't know was built in After Effects um, until I did a little bit of research. So uh, again, this is really simple. So what you're gonna do is here, I just downloaded this um, this explosion green screen. Now it is HD, 1080p, so, so the edges are gonna be nice and crisp, um, which you want. You'll notice a lot of green screens um, that you see on YouTube they're re-uploaded like so many times that the quality degrades and you could still green screen them out but the effects aren't that great. There are professional um, green screen effects you could buy and download which are great and they'll be um, very good but I just downloaded this one as an example. It's pretty good. So over up in After Effects I have um, already downloaded and dragged the, uh, the explosion into After Effects. And I'm just going to create a new composition, composition, composition new. Uh, these settings are fine, 1080p, 60 frames a second. I'm just going to hit OK, and I'm going to drag the green screen in. And it's only about 15 seconds, so I'm just going to hit N on the keyboard. That shrinks down our, our uh, render area to just about 15 seconds. So there's our green screen explosion. So what we want to do is we want to key out the background and w the way this will work, it'll even key out this area. So this area will be partially transparent. So it's really easy. I'm just going to effects and presets and ser searching for key light. So there are a couple up in here um, for the image utilities, but the keying one, key light 1 1.2 is the one you want. You just drag it on and you'll see here some of the settings. So you can go in here and mess with these settings. Honestly, I'm not a pro at this, so I've just kind of messed around with the settings and I couldn't get something that was better than just um, basic leaving them alone. So um, if you want to dig into these, you can. But basically, um, screen color, you just select this little uh, color picker and you select the background and it instantly keys out all of the green. There's a little bit of an edging effect going on and there are different techniques to get rid of that. Um, but because this has smoke, a lot of the a lot of the edging um, enhancements that I would use would actually ruin this this smoke effect, um, but 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 you can see that it, that it did remove all of the green perfectly. So I'm just going to create a new layer, layer new solid, and we'll just make it we'll make it I don't know just a random color, um, green oh no because it was already green, um, orange just as an example. Drag it beneath, and you can see here that that none of the green has followed through, and it did it for the entire video. So the outcome is pretty good. You could add some, you, if you know, if you're gonna put this into a, a composition, you're gonna wanna maybe add some smoke effects, maybe blend it a little bit better. Um, for objects that don't have smoke, I'll just show you what I use. I use something called Rough and Edges. So you could just search for Rough and Edges and drag it on. See, you notice that it destroys the smoke effect over here, um, but it does kind of make the, make the other portions a little more organic. Um, that's one, that's one thing I use. I kind of like the cartoony look that, that Rough and Edges gives it. Um, but again, it, it ruins the smoke. Whoa, that has sound. I'm just gonna turn the sound off. You can see that, that it ruins the smoke effect over here. So for this example, I probably wouldn't use Rough and Edges unless I wanted to kind of key some of that out or if I was going for a look that kind of had that um, more cartoony look to it. Um, but anyways, that was just a quick tutorial on how to use key light. Um, again, if you use a lower quality image, you're going to have to mess with with the um, screen gain and screen balance um, to better to better key out your object. So, for example, if you increase this, the screen gain, it will cut even more of the object, and if you reduce it, it it basically uh, starts looking more green. Also, with this with the color balance, it kind of you know how much of how much green. Do you really want to cut, you know, if something has a lot of green or a little green, how much do you want to cut? But anyways, for a good example uh, like this, that's perfect. Another thing you want to look out for is you don't want to film something that's green on a green screen. If it's green, you want to film it on a blue screen and then basically anything else you want to film on a green screen. So anything with green, you want to avoid 
filming on a green screen. But those are just the tips that I use. If you have any tips, leave them in the comments down below. And uh, they always help me out. I love reading the comments and I love getting new tips on how to do things easier, faster. Um, so anyways, if you have uh, ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, it's been Mike for Mobox. Thanks for watching.